Oh, great. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? Fine. Good. And a little tired, but we have to, to keep forward. <laughs> keep moving forward. Moving forward. Even if I use the, any background, yeah, everything will be just my head. Oh my God, yeah. Is that okay? Hey, that, give me just a second. What was it? For the color of your shirt? Yeah, and it's gray. Mm, it's gray and... <laughs> there it is, blur. Okay, uh, that's better. Okay, uh, my eyes are red today, okay. Hello, Carolina. Good evening. Hello. How's it going? I'm fine. I just have dinner. You're, I'm just having dinner. You're just having yes. dinner. Right? Enjoy. Yeah, what about you? Enjoy it. Uh, I was happy. And, and right now, and right now, why not? Uh, don't get married, Carol. Don't get. <laughs> I I will take. I'm gonna take your advice. Your advice, yes. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Fernando, don't do it. Isela, don't do it. Jocelyn, don't do it. I think you're not married. Uh, I am. Don't I am married. What? Oh, too I'm late. Married. Too late. Mary. Too late. <laughs> Who else? Who else? Isela, you. You too? Too late? Too late for what? I'm, I, said, I'm sorry, I didn't. I I'm, didn't giving, I'm giving you an advice. Don't get married. Oh, sorry, too late. Oh, dear. William is single. William is always smiling, so yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, guys, it's okay. You can get married, but just think about it. You know, be very honest with yourself first if you really want to do it i wanted to do it i mean my goal my goal in life was to have a family that's all i didn't want to be rich i i don't know i just wanted to to have a family you know and and i made it and i've been happy all the time and you know sometimes uh, <laughs> it's awful because uh, anyways I was happy all day, you know, I was repairing my car. I was installing the lights, installing the bumpers, repairing a hole on the floor. It was amazing. I was so inspired listening to music and everything. And then, yeah, hello, <laughs> right? So ah, <laughs> that's really crazy. But anyways, that's just the way it is. So what about you? How's your day going? Uh-huh. How's your day going? Talk to me. My day was, my case, was good. Sorry, continue. Sorry, Isela, continue, no? <laughs> okay, let's go with Isela and then we go with Jocelyn. Come on. Everybody was going to talk. Today is your talking day. That's the whole plan. Go ahead, Isela. Um, I think that today was good. Just uh, I have some work that I couldn't finish, so tomorrow is going to be my day off, and um, maybe I'm going to to finish some evaluation tomorrow. I think that I have six evaluations that I have to complete it before Saturday. And yeah, before Saturday. And I also have to do uh, another thing, um, job, job related. And at the end, uh, since due to I, I am off on Friday and Saturday, I feel like 
like uh, I only have one day off, like only Saturday. But it's but it's because on Sunday I think that that you don't have to you don't have time to to work as you work on on business day. I don't know why, but it doesn't work for me. Work from from Sunday to <coughs> Thursday. So I don't I I. I feel like I only have one day off at the end. Yeah, because you have a lot to do at home, right? There's always a lot of things to do at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, Jocelyn, your turn. Well, in my case, my day was so good. I didn't receive many, so many calls today. It was a relaxed day. We have a lot of ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That. <laughs> That's good news, actually. Well, in my case, yeah, the call center was soft, chill, no calls at all. I, I actually took like five calls in 7.5 hours. Five. Yeah, just five. Uh, so I had, I had time nice. to work on something else. I had laptop next to the desktop of the, of the job. And um, so I had some other things to do working from here and that was good i always try to keep myself busy when i'm since i work from home i don't know do you work from home justin yes oh okay okay so when there's there are no calls i mean you're like desperate right too much time without nothing to do okay good job yes Let's let me do the attendance so we can move on. Because today is all about having conversations, and I'll, I'll challenge you to speak. Hopefully, you do it. Um, Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. She said she had surgery today, right? Okay, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Where's Alexander? Not here today. Hmm. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Welcome. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Not here. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Good. Fatima Ifegenia López Ramos. Here again. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Good. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Here again. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Excellent. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Excellent. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. OK. Let's go with something funny. I need your help with something. We're going to be very collaborative today. Um, so, have you heard the expression, it's raining cats and dogs? What does that mean? Well, it's raining a lot. It's raining a lot. Okay. Is that the only meaning? Or... Yeah. Yeah, that's the only meaning. Okay, I'll tell you the meaning of that idiom when pigs fly. What's the meaning? And this is the, your challenge right now. You have to find definitions. We are reviewing unit three today, the whole unit, but I'm going to make it fun. We're going to find 
the grammar behind the topics, okay? So unit three starts on page, let me see, page 25. And it's basically using the simple present to define some meanings. So how can you ask someone to tell you or to describe something in their own words? What are the questions you can use? You can ask, what do you understand? What do you understand for, what do you understand? Um, what do you understand um, from, my God, wait, what preposition should I use? Okay, what's the meaning? Let's use the basic, okay. What's the meaning of? Okay, that's one way of asking. Let me think again. Uh-huh. What does mean? Okay. What does when pigs fly mean? What does when pig flies mean? What does it mean, Alan? Sounds like never is going to be happen something. Something is never going to happen, right? Correct. Something is never going to happen. Okay, another way will be what do you understand by what do you understand by let the cat out of the bag? Let the cat out of the bag. What do you understand by let the cat out of the bag? No idea. No, no idea. idea. Picture it. Don't, don't hide something. Uh-huh, when you're hiding something good and then when you're hiding something and show the secret. It's like, show me your secrets, Victoria, right? Same thing. <laughs> Guys, that was a joke, by the way. Okay, so you have to figure it out. You gotta figure it out. Repeat, figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Isela. Figure it out. I am I am your boss, Isela. Isela, go and fire Alan. You have to fire Alan. Oh, boss. I don't know how to fire someone. I have never fired any employee. Mm, sorry, it's your turn. Go figure it out. Figure it out. Descúbrelo. Come on, English. Find the way. Find the way. way to do it. Find the way to do it. Okay, I figure it that out. I, that I, I will need to learn how to, how to do that. You know, I can teach be, you. I can teach you how to fire someone I'm, in two minutes. I'm going to be promoted. I'm going to be promoted. Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, I'm going to to fire someone. I have been working with him, but I don't know why. But he. He doesn't want to do uh, the correct process, mm. and at the end, he he is also he also have process with HR, and at the end, maybe I'm going to fire him. <laughs> I'm thinking, how I will, how I will do. Okay, step number Can one. We? Step number one, become someone else. Cruella. Um, no, Isela, step, number like <laughs> step number two. Step number two, be direct. You don't have to take more than two minutes. And on step number two, take everything out of the way. Quitar cualquier cosa que te pueda lanzar a la cara. Okay? Good? Really? 
Do it. No, okay. really, really. No, really. Do it. Okay. Number three, you go directly. Look into the eyes. Okay. Good evening, Isela. Um, I have called you today because we have made a decision with the managers and your services are no longer required because you don't fulfill the position. You don't have what it takes anymore. So we have conducted a process to let you go. Tomorrow, you can come back for your check. It's gonna be ready. Um, starting right now, you are no longer part of the company. You may take your stuff and leave. And if you have any equipment from the company, you can leave it here with me, your headsets and your stuff, okay? You have any questions? Okay. Good talking to you. Take care. Good luck. That's it. Oh my God. <laughs> That's it. Don't take oh too long. Oh my God. It's not personal. Remember, el entre más tiempo pases yeah, invertas en un empleado, más daño te puede causar a la compañía. Si ya hiciste todo por ayudarle y no quiere cambiar y es un problema de actitud, mm -mm -mm. don't deal with that. No, no lidies con eso. Okay. There's a lot of jobs right now. Okay. So think about it. Thank you. Okay. Now, yes. <laughs> lo segundo que tenés que estudiar son rebuttals. Un poquito de rebuttals. Mire, pero ¿cómo voy a hacer si tengo cinco hijos y, y, y sin trabajo y la situación como está? Don't worry. You, you'll find a good job. Plus, we're giving you the money, you know, because we're letting you go. So invest on something. You will find a way. I'm sure you're very smart. Okay. ¿Y por qué me están dejando ir? I'm sorry, we already took the decision. So that's just the way it is. Could happen to me one day, you know, anybody could be on your shoes. So, so sorry. Take care. I have to go. <laughs> it's a fashion. No. It's just life, guys. It's just a job. Think about it. Okay, let's keep going. So figure it out, learn it. Learn it. Y prepárate para lo imprevisto. Cuando sos su supervisor o lo que sea, tienes que estar listo para lo que sea. Ok. Yeah. Imagínate que tu jefe no encuentra a quién decirle, hey, tengo que salir de viaje. Y tu jefe, ¿a quién le digo que, que despida este personal que tenía que despedir? Son tres en la semana. My God. And Isela goes like, ok, I'll do it. Ok. You can do it. Ok. So, First step, we are going to go to your page 25. Okay, this is page 25. Look at this. I don't want you to, well, yeah, this is the point. You have to find vocabulary that you may think is confusive. For example, Alan, what does prototype mean? in your own words. It's like a dummy test, uh, something like you can use uh, for that they use in, instead that give a final product to the person, to the people. It's just for test, it's just for, hey, play with that. What do, what do you want? We're going to see what happens. Remember the Mark One, the Mark One from Iron Man, the first armor. Okay, it wasn't perfect. The color was silver, and it kind of worked, right? So, what is a prototype? It's the first. Um, mm -hmm. Is the mate uh -huh, materialized? Very good, Jenny. Is the first idea materialized? the first model of your product. That's it, good job. Okay, let's see. And then you continue reading, just a scan, scan the lecturing. Okay, there's one more model, station, take turns, practicing, okay. For me, okay. Hey, Johnny, what do you understand by still masters? English, what do you understand by still masters? Still masters. In your own words, what do you understand by still masters? 
<laughs> That's the point, you see? I have no okay. idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. And so on. But in English, don't use Spanish, okay? That's your challenge. You can ask, hey, what do you understand by spot? Spot. What do you understand by help us spot? And what do you understand by flow? Or what's the meaning of flow? And so on. Keep going. Look. What are manufacturers? What are manufacturers? What is the meaning of manufacturers? What's accurate? Hey, what are handlebars? What are handlebars? I don't know, handlebars, bars, okay? Your own words. Don't go and Google it, just get your own words out of it, okay? There was one here. Uh, oh, what do you understand by sketch? What's a sketch? What is that? Okay, and keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. Finally, you will move on to the next page and keep going. What is illicit feedback? What is illicit and what is feedback? What do you understand by early adopters? You see, there's a lot of vocabulary. So try to make at least five questions in your group, okay, about the different words that you have on these two pages, pages 25 and 26, and we will keep moving with other dynamics. Got it? Good? Five. Si no participan, si están callados, no va a tener chiste esta clase y es muy productiva. So let's do it. You can do it. Okay, bye. Hello. Hello. Okay. The meaning, no? For example, yeah. What is the meaning of still master? What do you think? Still masters. Still masters. Because based, um, based on words, <laughs> can be a person who is who can master or handle still. Or someone, <laughs> right or someone has a specialist, maybe, about yeah. production. <laughs> yeah, I think that the are the person is expert yeah anything i don't know for example expert in up up i i think this yeah someone experts yeah. in handle steels iron yeah yeah we have an idea <laughs> yeah similar materials yeah similar mm -hmm. Okay. Still master, I, I think when the, the, the employees or some person uh, know uh, different, different for, do you do uh, a pro? Is, it is a special. Yeah. Yeah, it's similar. Case. Yeah. Okay. Where else? Spot. 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 A short video uh, talking about the product. In this case, the bicycle. 
Yeah, I, I think that is when you you have to present a, a topic or a specific topic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Describing the, the characteristics or uh, communi communication. It's similar with topic or no? Yes. It's like, uh, but in this context, it's like uh, to find any flaw. Mm -hmm. To help us. Or figure but... out. No, find. Find. Build. Yeah, because a spot has many meanings. Yeah. But I don't, I don't have idea, idea about flow. Flow. Spot is, any uh, flow. It's like an error. It's fail. Like a what? Error it's, it's or like error. Fail. Oh. Yeah. A mistake. A mistake. Yeah. Mistake. Yeah. But the mm -hmm. build prototype to help us spot any flow. Help us mm -hmm. spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We haven't identified in the design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, the next one, handlebars. But I'm sorry, but I don't remember what is the meaning. Accurate, accurate. Mm, it's like uh, in English is uh, to be great. Uh, yeah, it's to be accurate when you. Uh, get or you do something almost perfect. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That it, yeah. It's, it's saying, same. saying how excellent, for example. You mm, is mm, yeah. It's like um. You have you have to do the homework ex the excellent, for example. And for same. example, you have um accurate information. You have a good or ah, yeah, yeah, information, yeah, yeah. for example. Very detailed. Uh, right. It's like a right information, right? Yeah. Right information. Yes, I understand. Mm. OK. Um, what say, Carolina? Uh, accurate, about accurate, very, I, I think, very detailed. Yeah. For example, when you study architect in the plant, plant. it's correct to say plant, como planos? For example, when, when you have to do a plant, you have yeah. to, you have to accurate, yeah? You have to be accurate. You have to yes. be accurate. You have to be precise. Precise, precise. yeah. Similar. Yeah. Okay. What is handlebar? What does mean handlebar? Handlebar. Handlebars. Where is the meaning handlebars? I don't know. <laughs> what does it mean? To be accurate with the design of the handlebars. Handlebars is handlebar. Well, uh, literally bar <laughs> no i think is the part of a bicycle uh, 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 like yeah it's like no. uh, yeah it's like <laughs> a, how do you say when you handle it like you conduct a vehicle Mm -hmm. And what about saddle? If I remember correctly, it's like a seat. Like a seat when you uh, huh? like a chair of the um, vehicle yeah. or the bicycle. Okay. 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 
Ya de montar como. Oh, come on. You, 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 using Spanish. Come on. Oh, it's an you expose us. Sorry, because I, because I, I couldn't explain. I couldn't explain that word. Of course, you battle. can do it. It's the thing. It's the thing. That thing where you sit on, uh, on you know, on a bicycle or a bike. You know, even a, a horse. Mm. That's a saddle. I, 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 Sorry. I, I listened that that word in a motorcycle, but I don't. I didn't remember. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know about what I'm talking about. If the seat or the the back of the sides of the motorcycle, I thought that it was uh, about the seat. It is. In in my case, when I I listened that that word in the past, mm -hmm. you I thought that you didn't I, think it was a seat. Uh, yeah, I, I confused it with the in between the back and the seat of the motorcycle because mm -hmm. I that's it saddled. But it's seat, right? It has to do with yeah. sitting. Okay. Hey, what what are features? What are features? Like characteristic. Characteristics. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, characteristics of of a thing or object. Of a or... thing, a thing or object. Yeah. Okay. Product. Anything. Okay. It's the same. It's the same. The capabilities. Mm, yeah. Yeah, because it involves the plus. You know the extras, the extras of a product. So. Um, a projector, for example. What are the features? Did you know that you can connect a laptop wirelessly to a projector? Okay. Yep, for example, that's a feature. Okay. And you have many inputs on projectors, HDMI, DVI, USB, etc., VGA. And those, oh, are, yes. those are features or extras. Actually, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this paragraph, we found the spot, plow, and saddle. Keep going. I'm not if the, my partner found another one that I don't know. What do you understand by it's ensure? It's secure. It's like a. Um, like that we are really really trust in something you have to come to be convinced about that convinced uh -huh. convinced about that okay yeah sketch it's uh, it's like a design make the question the pieces. what, what is the mean of the sketch word it sounds like the beginning of the project in in a piece of paper. It's your design, but it's not that the final um, final product. Mm -hmm. Not product. It's like the final. Uh, I don't know how can I say it, but it's not. You are going to to assemble the the. The bicycle, you just put it in a piece of paper and say, this is my first sketch, but it's not complete there. It's the plans, for example. The I plan, guess that, the drawing, the first drawing. The drawing, yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah, ideas could happen on a piece of paper, you know. Yeah, I love. Mm -hmm. And anyone? No, we could go it. down. Yeah, you can keep going down. That's right. Uh, um, elicit. Um, I don't remember. Elicit. Request. Obtener elicit. Request. Uh, elicit feedback mm -hmm. from customer. Request. Yeah. 
Request. Mm -hmm. ah, request. Ah, okay. Where is it? Mm -hmm. But make, use the questions. Hey, guys, what's the meaning of? Hey, what do you understand by illicit? What's the meaning of illicit? How do you use that word illicit on a sentence? Oh, to get. Mm -hmm. What are flaws? You got it already? Flaws, um, are um, maybe uh, something wrong in the product. Right. Correct. Errors, mistakes. Mm -hmm. in the mistakes, production. yeah. Mm -hmm. Assess, it's, it's, it's a pronunciation. Yeah. Right? Assess. Yes. Assess. That's right. <laughs> okay. Assess the performance. But come on, ask your yeah. ask your classmates. Hey, what do you understand by adopters? What is the meaning of adopters? Adopters. Early adopters. Okay. Okay, guys, what is the meaning? Oh, what is the meaning for assess? Mm -hmm. Remember, try to use English to describe. Okay, uh, les invito a que participen, a que hablen, right? No se trata solo de estar buscando los significados de las palabras usando la, la computadora o Google, no, sino platicar con tus compañeros, okay? Si lo encontraste en inglés, of course, go ahead. Give your opinion, okay? Oh, it means this, this, and that. Uh, for example, early adopters. What is early adopters? Early adopters. In this context, and look at the context. Phone customer. Feedback from customer early adopters. Mm. Find the root. Encuentren la raíz de las palabras. Early adopters. So to make the word adopt or the verb adopt a noun we use ers and we say adopters early adopters of your product mm. so the first person the first uh-huh the, the first, first customer or the first people mm, people had the they they taste the product they, they will Maybe. adopt they will adopt the product they will make it theirs right they will make it theirs so they are adopting your product for the first time <laughs> okay. Ah, okay they're using your okay. product for the first time the first the first, ah. the first ah, users okay. the first users first that's user. right mm -hmm. that's what i want to hear from all of you sandra jose miriam come on continue okay Another word, guys. Okay. Words oh. we don't understand. For example, uh -huh. it's el, the X. Ah, that's the name of that's the name of the product accelerator. Um, but you can ask your classmates. Hey, guys, what do you understand by um, saddle? 
but I still master. <laughs> oh, what do you understand what? by still masters? What's uh -huh. the meaning? What's the meaning of saddle? What do you understand by saddle? Okay. Okay. Um, what? Okay. Okay. I for, Jocelyn, what? What do you understand about? About innovative. Uh -huh. innovative. Innovative. Uh -huh. Innovative. Let me see. Let me read this. The tense. To get the meaning. The sentence. The sentence, yes. I guess innovative is that it is something that they are looking to be something new, something more creative, I guess, innovator, in like uh, algo novedoso, algo nuevo. Ah, come I on. Is, <laughs> yes, I guess that is something that is better, something that something is new. Done already, but it's, it should be some new is new right for everybody nobody knows that product so it's um uh, it's new for everybody it's like wow the first time i see that right like the ear pods the ear pods have you seen the ear pods right that was innovative mm -hmm. okay you can give examples next oh yeah mm -hmm. Smart watches. Uh -huh. Renee's oh. smart watch. Renee's smart watch is is innovative. Yeah. <laughs> the, the product innovative is different or any way product. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, just define the word innovative. Let's go with the next word. What will be the next word? Well, uh, no, no, understand. Flow? Picture. Flow? What, what do you understand by flow? Flow. 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 Mm -hmm. A flow. A, um, I, don't, I don't know what. Uh, what is the flow? meaning? Okay, flow. Uh, somebody, come on, Johnny, Jocelyn. What is a flow? Yeah. Uh -huh. A mistake. Uh, something that, that I explain. <laughs> flow. Give examples. This uh -huh. is what I need you to do to figure out a way to describe a new word. You know the meaning. You know the meaning. But how do you describe it? Give mm, examples. Something that is failed that um, maybe it was done and that failed. Right. For example. Because. Oh. <laughs> because. <laughs> because suppose it was failed. I don't know. Uh -huh. for ex then you, you can say, for example, let's say. Give an example. Let's say that Johnny bought headphones, right? And they don't work. They don't work. So they fail. They have a flaw. They have a flaw. Okay, the microphone doesn't work. Oh. Uh, That's a flaw. Yeah. That's a flaw. A failure. That's a flaw, the microphone. The, the microphone fails. That's a flaw. Uh, a flaw. Okay? From factory. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's a synonym of failure. Fail, failure. You got it. Okay. Sketch. What do you understand by sketch? Easy. That's very simple. Right. Sketch. 
Yeah, that's a sketch. Look, this is a sketch. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna focus. Why is it not focusing? Yeah. No oh, it's because I have the effect of the camera, but that's a sketch. Oh no, you you won't see it. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh, there you go. There you go. You see, that's a sketch. <laughs> That's a sketch ah, oh, right yeah. there, okay? Uh, My five-year-old, six-year-old lady, she drew that for me. So a sketch, what's a sketch? It's a draw, but it's more, more technical. It's a word that is more technical. Something yeah. that is done for an artist. Uh, mm -hmm. That is just the beginning, but not the real one. Right, it's a drawing of an idea of the product. That's right. For example, to make this shirt, they made a drawing, right? Oh, let's do the, the neck this way. Let's put three bottoms on it, you know, and so on. Okay? That's a sketch. That's what you need to do. We have to go back. Okay. Fernando, give me a number between one and twenty-one. And fourteen. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Hello, Miriam. Hello, hello. Don't know why she say goodbye when I say hello. Hello, hello. Where's Miriam? She was here. We lost her. Oh, no, really? Okay, another number. Her? Um, ten. And Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Okay, Johnny. Johnny. Where are you now? Okay. Johnny's. Oh, there he is. Okay, come on, Johnny. I am here. <laughs> okay, Presenting. Johnny. What do you understand by flaw? Flow. It's like it's like a draw mm -mm. pro. <laughs> That's something else. No. But it's a remember. flow. What's a flow? Okay. No? Do you give up? New new version it's something? No. A new version of something. <clears throat> Okay, select someone. Um, can see um, Miguel. Okay, Mike. What is a flaw? Yeah. Well, I understand. For example, when you create a new product, you need to identify the, the fails. The failures, uh-huh, fails. The fails? Fails, 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 fails. uh-huh. Chain with flow. Yeah. Okay. Fails on the, fail, no, it's failures. Failures on the production? Or, or you say in the, in the group, mistakes, for example? Mistakes, uh-huh. Errors, errors on the manufacturing, yeah. on the manufacturing yeah. process of the product. That's right. Failures on the product. Okay, good job, Miguel. That's right. Select someone else. Okay. Um, Alan. <laughs> oh, my God. Alan. Huh. Define, define spot. Spot. 
Whoa. Typical. This, uh, <laughs> for me, uh, at the beginning, I thought that is, there was a dot. But in this case, uh, I think there is a, trying to give an understand that something it's, uh, it's a mark, something that you want to, to see. Um, um, I don't know I, uh, this, the, mean, the word in English because I don't use it. Resaltar, to market, uh, to show, and it's but it's like a, it's not a place, a physical place. It's just like a, hey, see that you know, I need to, to focus in in that point. I maybe I don't know. Okay, yeah. Synonyms. Come on. Place. Place. Yes, it means a place too. For example, hey, that's our spot. You go to uh, to the cinema, right? And somebody's in your chair. Uh oh, hey, that's our spot. Okay. Or you always sit on the same cubicle, the same cubicle at work, the same chair at work. And somebody else is on your chair today. <gasps> hey, that's my spot. See, that's my spot as place. But also that, that this means to look at something. For example, uh, let me give you an example. Okay, let me spot that. Let me spot that. Simple as that. Let me spot that. Let me take a look at it. Let me spot that. Oh, I spotted. I spotted. It's double T. Yeah. I spotted a UFO last night. I spotted a UFO last night. NASA spotted a UFO last night. For example. Good. So you, yeah, you can use it in both context, both context. But what's the difference then? As a verb, I spotted you. Hey, I spotted you at Metro Centro. Spotted you at Metro Centro one of these days. So I didn't talk to you. I just spotted you. Hmm, Alan is with a woman. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, but as a noun, as a noun, that's her spot. That's my spot. Hey, there you go. There, there, that's your spot. You're seating everybody on the on the table when you have visitors at, at home, right? Hey, that's your spot. That's your spot. You go there. This is my spot. And that's your spot. Let's eat. Got it. Very useful. Okay. Select someone, Alan. Okay. Uh... I am glad to hear Rina voice tonight with someone meaning. Okay, something easy. Rina? <laughs> yes. Thank you. What do you understand by features? Features. Pictures. Features. Look at your chat. Features. 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 Okay. Um, features. Uh, this a car is, is a very feature. A car has many features. A car has ah, many features. This meaning. For example. Um, Mm -hmm. um, she's um, many features. Mm -hmm. Okay, talking about products, many oh, okay. characteristics, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, features. Look for synonyms or give examples. Ese es el punto de este ejercicio que acabamos de hacer. Que ustedes busquen sinónimos o dar ejemplos de cómo ocupar esa palabra. ¿A qué se refiere más bien? Ok. Uh, so, 
for example, for example describe a product. Uh -huh. What are the features of the product? That's right. I was giving you an example, um, a projector. What are the features of a projector? What are the features of a laptop? Okay. Black, black. Uh huh. It is black. It, it is an. It has an HD, an HD screen, and so on. <laughs> Suspended. <laughs> okay. The two is the the, the brand and the color of the laptop. Right. <laughs> exactly. Those are the features. Okay. Select yeah. someone, Rina, please. One more. Okay, I like, for example, I like the iPhone. It is more, more features. It has more features. iPhones have more features, that's true. Good job, good job. Can you select someone else? Another classmate? Sandra. Okay, Sandra, what do you understand by branding? Branding. Branding is imagine the uh, organization, maybe. Oh, the image. Im image. The image of the organization. That's the brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Somebody else has a different definition of branding? What do you understand by branding? Elvin, someone? Miguel, Rene, no? Carla, no? Okay. The name of. The of name the of, of a product. Of a product. Mm -hmm. uh, the specific product. Of a specific product or a specific uh, company. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the name of a business. Everything could be branded. Very good. Okay. See, was that difficult? No, right? Okay. So before we move on, let me do the attendance one more time. Believe it or not, it's almost at nine. Uh, Alexander, if you can, please stay with me 10 more minutes after the class, okay? Yeah. Ada, Ada is not here, so <laughs> we're going to switch. Tomorrow is your turn, but Ada will stay tomorrow if she's okay. here. So, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Elvin. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos, not here. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Okay. <laughs> Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Okay. Yeah. Hey, excellent. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. No, Present. No, 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 no. Excellent. Okay. Next. For our next lesson, we're going to continue reviewing your book. And I have another challenge for you. Guys, you have been together for a long time. At least with me, you have been two months. So make indirect questions about your classmates, job or life. Be free, feel free to ask 
any questions to your classmates. Indirect questions. You can use the examples. Remember, hey, I wonder if, I like to know if, would you mind telling us if, okay, not, not could you find out? Well, you can try it, right? For example, let me just go giving you examples. Um, let me see, Johnny. I wonder if you slept well tonight, last night. I wonder if you slept well last night. No. <laughs> No, you didn't? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? What happened? I was working some... I work. knew it. I knew it. You had to work, right? Okay. Um, let me see. Carolina, I'd like to know if... I'd like to know if you like mangoes. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. I like. I have a lot of mangoes. Would you like some? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's a conversation, guys. Very good. Uh, Elvin, would you mind telling us if you like your job? No, no, I have. Okay, again, would you mind telling us if you like your job or no? Uh, depend, uh, it depends on uh, the situation in the, in the <laughs> day. <laughs> oh, okay. I told you before, right? What else? Let's review that really quick, Elvin, everybody. What else can you use to say it depends on? Um. What, what? It depends on. on. Yeah, but what else can you use? What other phrases? I, let's um, say up, uh, uh, up to you. Ah, it's up to. It's up to. So, como voy a say, Charlvin? It depends on the day. Um, It's up to the workload, right? Porque al final no es el día, sino la cantidad de trabajo que tenés. It's up to the workload of the day. In other words, the workload defines how good or how much you like your job every day. <laughs> okay? It's up to the workload of the day. Uh, it relies on... Oh. Uh, oh, listen, listen, listen. It's determined, determined by the level of stress in a daily basis. <laughs> this is very pro, guys. Uh, it's determined. Oh, you can say that. Sound better. That's determined by the level of stress in a daily basis. You know, sometimes I get more stressed. Sometimes I'm not stressed, and I love the days when I'm when I'm not stressed. Okay. Yeah. You okay. see, <laughs> there's many ways of saying the same thing, but never forget it. Good job. Good job. Um, now let's try to use. Could you find out, mm, Carla Janet? Could you find out if Alan has money? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's okay. Be natural. Be natural. That's the point. This is page, let me see, page 27. You have more examples. And here you have the explanation. Remember, I wonder if you received. I'd like to know if you, I'd like to know how much money you make a month. Huh? Just make any questions, okay? Be natural. So we can move on. There's a second section of that. And that's on page 31. 
What? I didn't hear that. Okay. I wonder what, I'd like to know when, okay. Would you mind telling us how much? Would you let me know what time? So let's study these two sections, okay? Indirect questions, indirect questions. You have information questions and regular indirect questions. So let's do that. That was page 31, page 28 and 27. And again, have a conversation, okay? Questions? No? Okay. Les estoy retando a que saquen conversación a sus compañeros, sean libres de preguntar lo que sea. Si su compañero no quiere contestar, también se va a sentir libre de decir, no, I'm sorry, I cannot tell you, okay? Like, Alexander, I wonder how much money you make a month. Oh, this is a good question. A good question, because I can say that I can get enough money to pay my bills. I, I get enough. <laughs> that's, a, that's a straight yeah. answer. I like that. Oh, I get enough. I get enough. <laughs> that's yes. okay. Good. You got it. That's the point. That's the point. Have fun. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi. Sorry. Hello. 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 Okay. How are you? Fine. And you? Whose day? It was nice. Oh. Um, okay. mm. I wonder if you if you are very stressed in this day. I wonder. I wonder if you wear. Oh, wear, yeah. If you were very you wear. stressed. And this day? Today. Today. Hmm. Uh, my day is uh, stress. Hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah? If my, my day, day, if my day was my day, stressed. My, if my day was uh, very stressed. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, my very, day was uh, very stressed. stressed. And, uh, and more, uh, what do you say, lluvia, mucha lluvia. No, uh, due to the rain. Rainy. Because, uh, rainy. Oh, or because, uh -huh. because it was rainy, it was rainy, yeah. Uh -huh. Because it was raining in the, in the installation. Uh, the installation has uh, leaks. See, uh, there are there are leaks in leak, the leak or leakage. Uh -huh. Leaks in the facility. Uh -huh. uh -huh. There the are leaks. What is leaks? Leaks. 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 <clears throat> leaks. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> when it oh. rains, uh -huh. it could be okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when water, when water filters through the roof. Uh, That's a leak. Okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah. There are leaks. So you don't the... like the rainy, rainy days? Oh, without leaks? Uh, oh, oh, how do you say that? Hey. Despite the leaks, do you oh, like? Despite, uh, despite the leaks, uh, hey, despite the leaks, do you, do you like rainy days? <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
He's, he's processing, he's processing. Wait, ah, wait. Okay. If the might be late, is, yeah, very much. No sé cómo decirlo, pero. Very much. Yeah. Might be late, very much. Uh -huh. okay. Very much. To, uh, every day. Very good. It's better than hot days. Oh, yeah. I prefer <laughs> cold than hot. No, oh, me too. Okay, keep, keep going, keep going. Okay. okay. Another uh, Rene, make a make an indirect question to to Carol. Okay. Is a uh, a bol a volatile coin. Uh, I I I remember this is um when you the people inverting inverting and invest invest invest, invest and another um business. No, it's a, a, a coin uh, when you use a, a, a country specific. I remember that. Only it's a business, no, it's a, no, it's a, a nas, national coin. Uh, wait, 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 pause. Let's repeat. It's only a business. Yeah. Only a business. It's only a business. It's not a national national coin. Coin. Yeah. You're yeah, you're saying backwards. That. No is, no is not. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's, not. Mm -hmm. it's only yeah. It's not yeah, it's not national national coin. It's not a it's not a it's not a national coin. Very good. It's not, yeah. Jenny, stop playing with the light. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Okay, continue you. <laughs> okay. Fernan Fernando. Yes. Fernando. I, I, I wonder if it could be working in, I say, in, in set account, uh, banking account for transferring the, the, uh, the, the, the money to that account and, and, and it's in the money in account, in the banking account. I hear you, you, can, you can do this with, the, with that app, but uh, the yeah. time for waiting the, the transaction success, success to succeed. Is, uh, it's a it's a long time sometimes, so you have to be patient, patient, patient. And I think you can do this, although remember, although, although the the time, the waiting period, the waiting period or the waiting time is very long. Very good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. I I I saw in with her and something as something like that. So this is like a like a my baby. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I talked to my. <laughs> uh, was missing to ask question. Alexander. Uh, Alexander. What happened? Okay. I like to know, Alexander, if you like video games. Uh, I like to know. Could you repeat it again? I like to know if you like video games. Video games. Yes, of course. Of course. I like to play video games. Um, 
I like to spend time uh, on weekends playing video games around three or four hours per day. <laughs> yeah, because I like to to win and get uh, rewards. You know, because I don't I don't like to pay for different kind of rewards like a weapon weapons or because I like to to play Call of Duty is okay and I would like to know if you if you enjoy playing video games as well you are asking to to win and right yeah if, exactly if he enjoyed too ah yes i i do i like to play video games but i only play um, fifa yeah fifa is good but i like to to play pets pre-evolution soccer do you know what it is yeah okay it's similar to fifa <laughs> same yeah, similar. <laughs> um, mm. ask Rina, I said that something. hey Rina, i wonder if you if you want to work in a call center someday <laughs> Uh, repeat, please. Sure. I wonder if... I my cycle, but it's not frequently because in my in the road that I, I take every day, it's crowded of, of cars and there is a complete mess. And I don't like to get an accident in my bicycle to get in a car. I prefer walk. Um, instead of the bicycle. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know. I I would like to to use my bike for my work, for example. Because yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's nice. But in my case, because the place that I live is near to, it's working in a working in. It's an under construction, and you is the Claudia Lars uh, road, and there is a crowd of every day. And you ride on a bike, it's so dangerous most of the time because uh, a lot of cars is around. If you are not looking at your surrounding, it maybe hits in uh, because it's there's not there, they don't have take care of the of bikers. It's better when you walk because you, you walk, you see every, every uh, the surroundings. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you found uh, less uh, traffic, but it is very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, actually it's because not a good, it's not a good decision, right? Yeah, it's drive a car. It's a motorcycle, it's insane. I, I love motorcycles and uh, actually I have one, but my family don't like to drive. I drive it because they say that I'm a little bit uh, insane driving motorcycles. And that reason I, I take it on my, on the garage, I keep it on it. And, but I like to, to drive motorcycles. Uh, Miguel, what do you prefer, motorcycles or cars? Well, I, I like I like motorcycle and cars, but I prefer the cars because, uh, the motorcycle is very dangerous. Yes, I I, I can use the motorcycle and I can I can drive them the the cars. The cars. Okay. But I prefer the cars. Yeah, I am more um, insurance. Oh, safe it, safe it. Safe. I think it's safe. Safe it. Safe. They're yeah. safer. 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 Yes. Um. Uh -huh. Comparations, right? 
comparisons, comparatives. Good. Okay, let's go back. Okay, ready? So again, don't reply to everybody on the chat. Do it directly to me, okay? And don't give the answer, please. Just text it on the Zoom chat. Don't give out the answer. Just text it to me on the Zoom chat. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, translate, let's translate to English. Indirect questions. Saben que una de las cosas que más me gusta de mí como profesor, que descubrí que me, me gustaba, es lo creativo que soy. Me encanta cuando logro ser creativo, cuando tengo una clase que que al final de la clase me quedo, wow, no sé cómo hice eso, cómo se me ocurrió eso, y me quedó bonito. Esa es la satisfacción de un profesor cuando te gusta lo que hace. Fernando, me imagino que cuando programa algo, dice, wow, qué bárbaro. <ríe> That's really good. Sí, igual él bien llevando a cabo controles de calidad y todo, es como, o sea, si te gusta tu trabajo, wow, una gran satisfacción. Ok, go ahead. Zoom chat. Open the Zoom chat. Huh. <laughs> huh. Check, check, Alan, check. There's one word that you don't need, a model that you don't need. Uh huh, Alexander. Hmm. Very close, Alexander. Look at the question. ¿Cómo te va? Let me give you a clue. Present continuous. Excellent, William. Yes. Oh, wait, you're missing something, William. Possessive adjectives. I wonder how it goes to you in the English class. Mm, still paraphrase it, Alexander. How's going on? Yeah, I was, yeah, very good, William. I was wondering. In whose English classes are they, William? Whose English classes are mine, your, his? I'm just gonna wait for the right answer of the first one. I was wondering. <laughs> Yes, they'll be very close. Tienes en español el, el teclado, ¿verdad? El, el correcto. Eso me pasa a mí. I wonder how it is going to you. Ah, very close, Alexander. Paraphrase it. You can do it. Keep an eye on that. It's in past. Me preguntaba. 
¿Cómo te va a ti? Como diría mi, mi, mi cuñada que es de República Dominicana. ¿Cómo te va a ti, chico? ¿Cómo a ti te va en tu clase? Uh -huh. I was wondering. There you go. Excellent, William. I was wondering. How are you doing in your English classes? I was wondering how you're doing in your English classes. I was wondering, how are you doing in your English classes? Okay. Let's go with the next one. ¿Te importaría decirme la hora? You will mind. Mm, think about it. Remember, it's, a, it's an indirect question. So you need to start with the model. Go back to the examples. Mind, tell me the time. Mm. Tell me what time is it? Would you mind? Tell me what time is it? Just one thing you're missing, Jocelyn. I was wondering how is it going on your English class? How are you doing on your English class? How are your English classes doing? How are your English classes going? Going, okay. ¿Cómo van tus clases de inglés? But I'm asking, ¿cómo te va a ti? That's the difference, Isela. Would you mind tell, mind tell me what time it is? Would you mind tell me? Would you mind tell me? Uh, would you mind telling me the time, Elvin? Would you mind telling me the time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, would you mind telling me the time? That sounds better. Correcto. Good job, Elvin. Would you mind telling me the time? You could also say, yeah. Would you mind telling me what time it is? But I will be more specific. Oops, wait. Okay, Elvin got the answer. Would you mind telling me the time? What about the next one? Podrías averiguar que hora es? Alexander, you're missing the subject. Excellent, Carla Janet, you got it. <laughs> that was quick, that was easy. Oh, trying to copy this. Oh, come on. Carla Janet, could you find out Oh, it's not copying it. I'm just going to text it. Could you find out what time it is? What time is it? What time it is? What do you think? What's correct? Could you find out what time is it or what time it is? It is. It is, right? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Could you find out what time it is? Next, me gustaría saber cómo estará mañana el tiempo. <laughs> oh, Alan, think about it. I like to know how it's going to be the weather. How is the subject going to be? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, Alexander, you're right. Finally, I got one. I like to know. Just don't forget the apostrophe. Come on. It's not copying. I'm not able to copy this from the chat. There you go. I do that, Alexander. I like to know how the weather. Oy. Weather. Oh, where? Wait, 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 wait. Dyslexia. How the weather will be tomorrow? Why will be and not going to be? Because I'm saying estará. Good job. How the weather will be tomorrow? Next. Me pregunto cómo estuvieron los disturbios ayer.
Bien, Rina, si se fija ahí, eh, lo que hay que hacer es, en ese ejemplo, poner el, el, um, el modal después del sujeto. I like to know. Eh, solo eso le faltaba. How the weather will be tomorrow. Correct. Pregunto cómo estuvieron los disturbios, señor. Mm. Alexander, disturbing. Mm -mm. Oh, Sandra, good. You got it, Sandra. Ding, 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 ding. I wonder how the riots were yesterday. Oh, oh. Yesterday. There you go. I wonder how the riots were yesterday. Very good. Rene got it too. Good job, Rene. Okay. Me haría saber en qué fechas son Navidad y Vespera de Año Nuevo. Me haría, me haría saber en qué fechas son Navidad y Vespera de Año Nuevo. Come on, we're just missing one. Would you let me know what dates are Christmas and New Year's Eve? Good, Rina, you got it. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Would you let me know what dates are Christmas and New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve, Vísperas de Año Nuevo. Okay. Hmm, would you let me know? I wonder how, I like to know how. Could you find out? Would you mind telling me? I was wondering. Okay, would you let me know what dates are Christmas and New Year's Eve? Uh -huh. Christmas, very good. Okay, so this is the way you practice every topic, right? Try to do it. If you noticed, I didn't use if. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you're going to the football match tomorrow. Would you mind telling me if, um, if today is your payday? If today is our payday? Could you find out if they already paid? Okay, if they already paid, podrías averiguar si ya pagaron? Could you find out if they already paid? Una pregunta que te interesa mucho, right? <laughs> Would you find out if the rat has fallen? <laughs> right. Podrías averiguar si ya cayó la rata, right? Okay, you got it. Common question among Salvadorians. Very good. Relax, don't do it. You're gonna get to it. Hey, I'm getting closer. By the way, today was a huge day for me. A lot of work to do. At the beginning, the lights were not working, Miguel. I think Miguel was saying that he likes cars, right? Right, Mike? You were just saying that. And that's the way I spend my day today. 
<laughs> I installed the fence, the, the, the bumper, the front bumper, and the rear bumper. Because I oh. painted them and then, and then it worked. I had no lights. I had no lights. And I was like, oh my God, lights don't work. Then I fixed it. It's so difficult to find this, this part, but it's impossible. <laughs> what? To, yeah, find, I, to find what part? Yeah, I think that yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have and, a, like, a lot of. What's uh -huh. this? <laughs> a lot of what? Oh, providers, really? Providers. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I can. Let me know, please, because. Um, say for your part and yeah. Good. Tell me what is the. Text me. Of your part. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's next, honestly. Ya no sé qué. I, I had a, I had a car, uh, no, 19. 85 from yes. 1985 uh, one years ago i i i drove this car it's beautiful <laughs> really this is a yeah. 1978 1978 yes. golf um yeah. no encontraron el retenedor de la caja de cambios no lo encontraron no 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 ni el, ni el cable de clutch isela do you have a question You said your hand is up. No, sorry, I think that that's my error. Okay, good, don't worry. Okay, let's move it on. Let's keep going. What is next? Uh, okay, I was down. Let's see if we cover this, okay. Next, you need to describe a production process that you are familiar with. So you know what? I'll make this very democratic, okay? Not democratic, but democratic, okay? What do you prefer? Describe a production process you are familiar with. For example, how to, how to produce soap, how to produce jam. Do you know how to produce jam? Latina, no? Okay, so this is an option. Describe a production process you're familiar with, or second option, you can, wait a minute, determine the cost. Where is that? I knew it. I just put it somewhere. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Figure out the real cost of a common Salvadorian product. Foods? So, okay. Uh, puedes describir un proceso con el que estés familiarizado en tu grupo. Cualquier proceso de producción y eso in, involucra comida, es lo más sencillo, creo yo. O, o cómo se produce, no sé, lo que haya visto, chocolate, por ejemplo, chocolate. O, o segundo, puedes um, averiguar el costo real de un platillo salvadoreño típico, de un producto salvadoreño. Ok. El costo, hmm, the cost of producing a pupusa, the cost of manufacturing, <laughs> producing, I don't know, help me, chilate, whatever you want. Figure out the cost or describe the production. So I'm going to leave you with these two questions in groups. Come up with the cost of a product or describe a process, okay? Does that sound like a plan? What do you think? No, I'm taking too long. Come on, guys. We have to describe the process. Okay, uh, perdón, lo siento muy aburridos. O prefieren que hagamos algo más. You tell me. Okay. Libre albedrío, free will. How do you say libre albedrío in English? Come free on. Will. Free Man. will. It's not libre en a willy, no. Free, free will. <laughs> free willy. Okay. Not free willy. Free will. Okay. 
what do you prefer? Describe mm -hmm. a production process of any product you know, or uh, put the cost, the real cost of something you know. ¿Cuánto cuesta hacer una perolada de frijoles? How much money do you invest? Saben que hay un señor emprendedor aquí en la colonia que está vendiendo frijoles ya en, empacados al vacío y congelados, solo congelados. Pero no solo eso, vende um, casamiento, uh, frijoles molidos, frijoles enteros y frijoles con uh, chorizo. O sea, él hace... Hey, les tienen súper bien, en todas las tienditas se lo están agarrando. ¿no? I was like, very good, good job, porque soy uno, sí, necesita dinero. Está bien, bien, bueno, muchos quedamos mal, vea, después de la, de la cuarentena. So, how does he do it, right? How much do you think he spends to just put the, the beans inside the bag, you know, and put them on the freezer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he grows the, the beans? No, he just buys the beans. Oh. But he buys the, the sack. The big sack. The you know? yeah. uh, How much is a, is a sack? How much weight is in a sack? Mm, How many kilos? I don't know. Kilo? I don't know. Somebody, somebody. Pounds. Or pounds? Uh -huh. 100. 100 pounds. 100. Hmm. Mm. Mm. No. Isn't it? What is an arroba? What is an arroba? How much is an arroba? 25 pounds. 25 pounds is an arroba. Yeah. Yeah. And how many pounds are there in a sack? 100 four. pounds, Alan? Yeah, 100. So four, 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 four arrobas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Four, really? four ads. Four ads. <laughs> four ads. No, 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 it's not ads. Ads. I was thinking the same, but no. Or at no, uh, somebody, some, more someone fit? didn't get the phone. What? Uh, more, more than 15 kilos. More than 15 kilos. No, yeah. because uh -huh. uh, one, mm. one kilogram is uh, 2.2 pounds. No, but he's saying kilo, not kilogram. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kilo. Okay. A kilo is a kilo, a kilogram is a gram. Kilogram, no. Is the same? Kilo is the abbreviation. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Kilo, kilogram. It's the same. Okay. Hmm. So that's the point. What do you prefer? Talking about how to produce something? What's the process? Or what is the cost? of producing something. Second one. The second one, well, I'll second. leave it to you. Free will. In your group, we only have 15 minutes. So in your group, debate, how much is it, how much does it take? How much does it take to make a pupusa, for example? How much? Mm -hmm. To produce. Um, okay, for example, oh my god, I'm sending everything to Alan. Wait, there you go. How much does it take to produce a pizza? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Find out how much does it take to produce a combo familiar? For example, let's go. Mm -hmm. A, 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 the, the, the beans frozen. Uh, Say, teacher, I think are looking for the culture of frozen food similar to you, US. For this, when the compatriots come back, they love our food. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a culture that the culture of the the US. All the all, all the all the food always frozen food. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same with tortillas. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> for that, for that, uh, when the compatriots come back, it's wow, oh, oh this very delicious the food here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. What product are we talking about? Um, select AC. Uh, for example, um, it's your one pizza. Uh, <clears throat> or, or in no, uh, oh. and, uh, there are different algo, algo, algo fácil, uh, the easy innovation. Uh -huh. Innovation, uh -huh. I don't know. Um, different. Uh, <laughs> el chuco. Chuco. Ajá, chuco. <laughs> Cultural. <laughs> Cultural. <laughs> Cultural here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <I'm frozen. laughs> Okay. Uh, full of artesan. <laughs> How much? How much? Um, how much each morrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. <clears throat> uh -huh. Because because uh, because the morrow it dishes use when do when when you drink uh chuco. One point fifty only the meat. Mm -hmm. And the bread, bread. The bread, uh huh. Is the good uh, bread must be fancy. Uh, for example, the bimbo that is the best one, supposedly the one that is added with a uh, in, in the in the restaurant, I I think. There are different type of bread for their burgers. Yes, for example, Burger King uh, has ah, Burger King. Yes, Burger King use use this is a bimbo bread. I guess. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> when I I eat in, in Burger King. I didn't know that kind of bread had bread. Bread. I bread. was like, bread, bread. What is that? <laughs> bread, <laughs> bread, bread. Bread is como respirar. Breathe. Uh huh. Breathe. 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 Uh -huh. Breathe. 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 The verb, breathe. But you, you take my breath away and I don't know what to say. Right? Take my breath away. The noun, breath. Mm -hmm. breath. Okay. The breath. verb, breathe. Mm -hmm. Mira la diferencia entre breath Pan y, br y breath de aliento. Breath. Breath. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Breath, 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 breath. 
Bread. Bread. Ah, Fer. Bread. Bread. Ahí, bread. ahí, ahí, Fer. Bread. Bread. Ajá, uh -huh. y breath. Bread. Breath. So breath. plus breath, breath, breath. Good. Aliento. Breath. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go. Breath. Okay, keep going. What are you doing? Cost or? Yeah, the cost How of much, producing. How much uh -huh. cost produce a burger? A burger. Yeah. Hey, that's irony, right? A hamburger. Um, hamburguesa de jamón. Mm. Hamburger. Mm. Or is it a, a what? A meat burger? A beef meat burger. burger. Meat burger, burger, chicken burger, fish burger. Hmm. But hamburger? Is that exist? Yeah, it does. Uh. O sea, es en unía porque le dicen hamburger si no está hecha de jamón. Oh. Right? Oh. right? Or cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Y los americanos sí dicen eso. Right? Give me three cheeseburgers, three fish burgers. Burger King, for example. Hay una promoción en Burger King. Ya me dio hambre. Tengo día de no comer una hamburguesa. Yo me también. Eh, pero tienen una promoción fija de $3.99, dos. Um, dos por tres noventa son como subs de, de pescado o de pollo it's really good yeah. no es el big king ajá ajá el big king that's right yeah that's really good okay keep going okay okay yeah. at, uh, at home because because I like to to eat um, ice cream and then I I have the, the chocolate, how do you say, derretido. Um, derretido yeah. Melted. Melted, yeah. So sometimes in my house, I have I have banana and, and chocolate. Banana. And ice cream, banana. Ice cream. And I make them at night, I don't know why. <laughs> So I think that is around 135 cents the, the package of, of chocolate for Chesco banana. Well, but in downtown, downtown, downtown San Salvador, in the market, the price is one dollar for each each buck. It's is it's cheaper, no? I prefer buy buy in the downtown. <laughs> I prefer yeah. to buy downtown. To buy downtown, yeah. Yeah, because I, I bought um on the on the super selector. Oh, uh, but for oh, business, oh. I don't know. I buy, buy we are on another idea. level. But your business is bad idea. Your your profit, <laughs> it, it's left. It's going to going down. Yeah. It's well, better to, to risk your life in La Tiendona. I'm sorry for your company. <laughs> it's better if you risk your life every day than in La, la Tiendona. For example, where is the price of bananas? Five hands, one fifty. <laughs> Five hands. <laughs> yeah. And the bag of the weight, one dollar. the traditional package. <laughs> the product you buy, you, you, you sell, wow. $50 and your cost yeah. and your cost uh, and your cost was $2 to $250 uh, we, we, we could get um, um, how can I say it um, project uh, I'm not foreseen I don't, well we try to figure out that the one pound of chocolate can cover 20, no, 50 units of bananas. I'm not sure because I'm trying to, to get an hey, idea. You're getting the cost of choco bananas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think that you need uh, two back for 25 bananas. But do, do you remember that we are going to yeah. think in like a chart tank? We cut it at the middle and get 
the tw the double, right? Because if you sell the one, yeah. <laughs> you are going to maybe it's better you can gain the quantity instead of quality. Of you prefer that we have the special line with mahonchos. <laughs> yes, I have my in my house. Yeah, it's a it's a new it, that is going to be a new line of production. But we need to to complete the the traditional ones. Yeah, yeah. it's going to happen. I think that that Miguel is a specialist. <laughs> you can put a lot of things, right? Like peanuts or choco crispy or yeah. What else? Uh, and the chocolate it's different flavors. For example, you you can use strawberry uh, chicle and what? Yeah, chicle. chicle. Yeah. Really? You can use bubble gum, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum chocolate. Yeah. That's new for me. That's new for me too. Yeah, because I, I, I tried yeah, I tried white like chocolate. Blue, I, I I really? even I tried where where did you get it? Um I don't know where but but from the, the supermarket what is it? I don't know but I remember that um some time ago I bought some chocolate like for bubble gum. But I didn't like it because I preferred the, the, the typical, real chocolate. the real chocolate. Yeah. Hmm. A strawberry cover. But I, yeah. But I think that is like a blue. Like a blue? Yes. When when I when I was this a vendia? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sold. When you okay? Sold. When I sold, I I use um uh, this cover light blue. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Gum, bubble gum. Gum, bubble gum. Bubble yeah. gum. Pero, o sea, espérame, es Meller? Yes, it's Meller. That is a brand. The, 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 the color is uh, uh, like blue. I'll, I'll find out. I need to know. My kids, <laughs> my kids, my take kids my need money. to know. <laughs> yeah, take my money. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're missing two minutes. Let's go back. It was really quick. Yeah. Okay, we're back. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo ha sentido la clase el día de hoy? No se sintió. It's gone. Ya se fue. Mañana es último día, eh. Eh, ya solo nos quedan cinco días de, de sesiones y pues terminamos el módulo intermedio, ¿qué es? ¿Dos? Intermedio dos. Y empezamos yeah. ya tres, ¿eh? Ojo, eh, si no han terminado la, uh, la unidad tres, les suplico que ya para mañana esté listo eso, pues yo ahorita me voy a quedar actualizando las notas para los que ya lo hicieron, son varios los que ya ya realizaron los ejercicios de la unidad 3 en la plataforma y pues hoy me quedo revisando oh. eso. Hello. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to do it. Please, ya. Yeah. O sea, ya saben que lo voy a hacer a las 5 de la mañana cuando me levante. En lo que estoy trabajando en el call center. A esa hora no hay llamadas. Okay. Las, las siete son. Please do it. It's, it's easy. Okay. And I'll see you tomorrow. Let me do the attendance really quick. It's 10 o'clock. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto, que se quede 10 minutos. Present. Alan Christopher Abreu Brizuela. Present, good night. Good night, Carolina Ibet Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night, Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present, good night. Good night, Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yaneda Maya Herrera. Present. 
Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. You didn't men mention. Um, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Don't worry. Good night, girl. Okay. Bye. Good night. What's up? What's up? What I'm happened good. in Oaxaca? <laughs> Yeah, actually, I feel good. Hey, actually, the the last Friday I received a, a call in English where the person was in Canada. I mean, the, the accent is it's like a British British accent. It all depends on where they live, what province they live in. Oh, I uh, Ontario. 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 Uh, yeah. Montana is not that much of British. Actually, there's a lot, a lot of Latin American people living in in Ontario. That's like the most popular place to live in Canada for Latin American people. Oh yeah. Then you have British Columbia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and you have Saskatchewan. <laughs> that's crazy it took me a week it took me a week to learn to pronunciate that province and i'm i'm pretty sure i got it saskatchewan yeah because I, I said it once to a canadian and he was like oh yeah you you, you can pronounce saskatchewan where are you i mean el salvador i was like what where is el salvador <laughs> oh that's in central america and he was like wait let me go to google maps okay oh my <laughs> god that's a small country. Yes, yeah, sir. It's, it's very small. And you speak English? Not all of us. Ah, oh. <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So, what you been up to? I'm having good. How's your sickness going? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, but I have so different kind of problems. But I'm good. I'm trying to. Yeah, actually, I want to to improve my English skills and transfer to another account in full English. Full bilingual account. Full bilingual. You're you're working with Sykes, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Text me. Text me. You should give it a try. I mean, it's always. Have you tried in Sykes? No, um, not yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. There, who knows, you know, or why don't you? Well, it's just that you're working from home, but you should try to socialize with someone from Human Resources, a recruiter, you know. That's what I did with a, a student when I was working at the other academy as a manager. I had some connections and I, I was able to speak with uh, some some human resource recruiters because we used to we used to calibrate we used to calibrate conduct uh, calibration sessions so for example Sykes used to go to to the academy and yeah. and we used to bring the kids you know bring some students that we thought in the academy oh they are very good Let's bring them to a room, sit them in the middle of the room and around the kid where the recruiters, the managers, you know, and we were just listening to the to the recruiter, right? Make the, the regular questions they make at the call center. And based on that, we used to teach them how to go through the interviews and everything. So I made some friends and, and I learned uh, what they were expecting from you, but you know, in reality, Alexander, what you have to do is just talk, speak about anything. And that's why when I'm with you, I just go like, yeah, let's talk. So what, yeah. do you want, what do you want to talk about? 
Yeah, about, uh, no, I don't know, how to be higher. <laughs> no, actually. How no, to get higher? Yes. How to get, yeah, I, um, some poems, um, how to use, actually, I would like to know how to use different kind of words. Uh, for words. example, get higher, get sick. When you need to use the preposition, it's not a preposition, it's more like auxiliary in this case, mm. get or the, phrase. The word, I mean, the verb, the verb get is four essential uses. I'll send you something. Um, get has four essential uses. And I found something once. Get. Sure. I always support myself with others' work. Hmm. Because in this case, you can say how to yep. be higher. Or how hey, to I get found higher. it. <laughs> I just <laughs> found it. This is very useful. I love this presentation when I used it a long time ago. And I, I kind of memorized that, you know, but it was really interesting. I'm just going to project it. Hold on. Okay, so there are four main uses of get. Okay, some phrasal verbs and expressions with get. Let's see, it's very short, but there are four main uses. Get plus a noun, get plus an adjective, and then get to place. Get in, out, on, off, all of this. But there are four main meanings, okay? Yeah. Um, hmm? Get plus a noun means receive, buy, fetch, or find. Okay, you don't have something, you get it. You have mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah. You see? Let me get yeah. that for you. Let me get that for you. Hey, mom, can I get that toy? Can you get me that toy? Buy. Okay, uh, let's get a job. Let's get a job. Fetch. <laughs> Fetch, okay. Um, yeah. Hey, I got this in the news. I found this on the news. I got this in the news. And so on. That's one of the uses. I'll send you this presentation. You see, yeah. did you get my email? Receive. I like your sandals. Where did you get them? Buy. I threw the ball and the doc got it. Fetch. Are you going to the beach? Yes. If you can get my bathing suit if i can get my bathing suit find okay i'll send you this this is yeah. very interesting it's very short but it's very informative get yeah was an adjective to become something after people exercises exercise they get thirsty to become something it's getting hot i love this one because it's the is it like transforming from one state to another age, you're getting smarter. You're getting yeah. smarter. <laughs> okay. I, at the end, at the end, guess. at the end of your, at the end of your interview, you must say, "Am I getting the job?" Yeah. Like that. Hey, am I getting the job? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you turn the air conditioner on? So study this, read it carefully. Get to a place. I always get to classes late. To arrive to a place. Okay, get home and downtown without two. Oh, okay. So you say get home, get downtown. I got home from work at 8 p.m. This is a very common mistake. I got to home. I got to my home. Uh -uh. Home is like a proper noun. It's como un nombre propio. You don't use uh, prepositions or adjectives before it. Okay, possessive adjective. So I got home. I got downtown. I got downtown. And so on. Yeah. Did you send this information before? No, 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 no. No, yeah. I just I just thought about it and, and you reminded me of it because it's okay. very useful. Get in, get out, get on, get off, to enter, to exit. These are the phrasal verbs you may have heard. You get into the car, you get out of the car, off the car. Uh, you get on the bus, you get off the bus, train the plane, and so on. Phrasal verbs that you can use, get across, get alone. I'll send it to you right away so you can study it 
I think it's, it's going to be very useful. Okay. Yeah. Please. Right away. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you can find a lot of information on, on this website. Okay. On SlideShare. It's very useful. Can you send me a message on WhatsApp? I'll, I'll send it all. You know what? No, I'll send it to the group. So you yeah. Can see it. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be very useful for everybody. Okay. okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you Take for care. <laughs>